we're very lucky to host two launch events for the Bell Hook Center. The first, on Wednesday, September 22nd, inaugurated the space and welcomed esteemed speaker Beverly Guy Sheftal to address our community about Bell's life works legacy, as well as her personal commitment to feminism. So today is joyous for me. I am really happy that Shadi uh, assumed the leadership of the center and made it possible because of the Mellon Grant and her commitment to women of color feminisms for us to gather here today and to celebrate Bell Hooks' work, to remember uh, all of the um, work that she's done around the women's movement and women's studies, and to mark her significant place uh, here at Berea College. If I could have had a dream that would have come true overnight, it would be that we would be here today a long time ago at the Bell Hooks Center, honoring the beauty and the work of Bell Hooks, not just for Berea, not just for the United States. I travel all over and Bell Hooks is all over the world, inspiring people of all ages to, to take the courage it needs to fight for justice and to get things right. Now this is an exciting day. Really, you could say that the creation of the Bell Hook Center is the work of a generation. Or you could say this goes all the way back to the founding of Berea College. We didn't have the broader understanding of gender at that point, but we did understand justice. So this place was about men and women, black and white, right from the start. Our commitment to gender justice and inclusivity has a long history going back all the way to our 19th century founding as the first institution of higher education in the South to welcome black and white and men and women students. You might say we were intersectional since 1855, I suppose. That entire history would be, on, would be beyond the scope of what we're about here today, but it is worth mentioning that there has been important leadership at the college around women's and gender issues from that beginning to the very present. The Bell Hook Center is further committed to intersectionally advancing gender inclusivity beyond a binary, in ways that account for racial differences especially. With support from President Lyle Ruloffs and the Board of Trustees, our center extends Berea's promise of gender equity to sex and gender non-conforming students, faculty, staff, and community members regardless of whether they identify as women, gay, straight, queer, cisgender, transgender, or otherwise. Our infrastructure and our programming, as well as the aesthetics of our space, go to great lengths to put the college's sixth grade commitment in conversation with its fifth grade commitment. In other words, its commitment to racial equity. Educators, scholars, theorists, activists, feminists, dissidents such as Bell Hooks emerge from marginalized, racialized communities in the U.S. It is important to embrace the dissident women among us, so often maligned and misunderstood. For decades, Bell Hooks' dissenting voice has been loud and unrelenting, beginning with the publication of her first book, Ain't I a Woman, Black Women, and Feminism. Over 30 books later, she has been the most prolific and radical black feminist thinker, dissident of my generation. Hooks' feminist message that love is the way and that justice, perhaps even abolition, is the destination exemplifies the college's motto and mission that God has made of one blood all peoples of the earth, encouraging us to use feminism as a praxis to materialize that otherwise community. What we most desperately need right now in a world that fears and silences opposition or worse are revolutionaries, dissidents who speak truth to power and beckon us to stand with them in solidarity. We were also lucky to celebrate with the campus as a whole on Saturday, September 25th, on Bell's 69th birthday, with inflatables, kettle corn, a DJ, a live band, flower crown making, and the like. We were really thrilled that the campus came out to support us. 
As a former major of the Women's Studies program prior to its transition to Women's and Gender Studies, a center like this was our dream, truly. So to, to be part of it, to kind of uh, plan the party and the celebration uh, was really exciting for me. To have a space where students are able to not be confronted with explicit like misogyny or heteronormativity or cis normativity and racism. Just have a space where people are more educated on those things and able to commune and get along. We believe at the Bell Hook Center, the Berea College is still an abolitionist institution. It remains today committed to grappling with gender equity, its intersections and its complications. If, as Hook says, it's all about love, then abolition is not a burning down, it's a building up. The opening of the Bell Hook Center advances Berea's sixth grade commitment in new ways. One that marks a notable change in the college's approach. The college, we could say, is now unapologetic in its support of gender beyond the binary.